But yeah, being able to realize where you are, you know, in 2018, realizing that I was going through my own recession, lost money to keep my employees employed, to keep my business operating. So essentially, those downtimes, when you learn from those failures, it's all about preparing for the next time. So when coronavirus hit, I was ready. You're almost a, a, a certified, you know, maybe unofficially uncertified pivot expert. And, and maybe that has to do with, with your background in the military. Maybe it doesn't, but you seem to be extremely resilient when, when, I mean, all of us, you know, we say down in the dumps, if a big change comes, we're going to take a moment to kind of catch ourselves, right? But you've been able to continually adjust your, your message, your marketing and your business to whatever is thrown at you. I mean, and that takes us now to what's going on in, in coronavirus. So I don't know, may, maybe, maybe your, your big skill and, and something people don't talk about, it's not just the service that we deliver, it's the way that we're engineered, right? And your resiliency yeah. is just incredible. Well, thank you for that compliment. It's a great compliment, especially coming from you. So yeah, the uh, part of my 2008 was a bankruptcy. I went into bankruptcy because I owned several properties. So at 22, I bought my first property. 2007 was, I was 27. I had owned seven properties, I think it is. All of which obviously soon went underwater. And either way, it was a good point in my life because I was able to build on that and learn from it. And then now again, so when I said I shifted from uh, reverse mortgage to regular mortgage, it wasn't an easy transition. Reverse mortgages were pretty much dying. We were making a lot less money per loan. So 2018, you kept hearing all this stuff. Oh, you need to be a direct lender to offer forward mortgages, which is conventional FHA, VA, what most of us get. So I joined a company, became a branch of theirs, similar to a franchise. When you have so many people with their hands in the pot, they, um, their rates were high. So I got out of there. I said, I'm going to become a lender myself. I became a direct lender really it, it doesn't matter it's whatever is best for the client uh brokers lenders it's they're all very similar but yeah being able to realize where you are you know in 2018 realizing that i was going through my own recession lost money to keep my employees employed to keep my business operating so essentially those downtimes when you learn from those failures it's all about preparing for the next time so when coronavirus hit i was ready I had funds saved, all my videos, if you go back and look at them, it's all about telling people, listen, you need to be ready for this. You need to cash out your mortgage. In early March, I was telling people this on Facebook Live. Three, four weeks later, cash outs became very expensive, very difficult. You know, so you've got to learn from these events and just build on it because that's, that's what life is about, failures and successes. 